investigate and explain that an electrically charged object can attract an uncharged object and can either attract or repel another charged object without any contact between the objects. Observe, one object can move another. So we're going to observe one object moving another object. I've got a quarter and a nickel, and I'm going to balance the nickel standing up on top of the quarter. Then I'm going to try really hard to balance this matchstick on top of the nickel. Sometimes that takes a couple of tries. Now, recognize that there's nothing that is sticking the nickel to the quarter, and I'm not sticking the matchstick to the nickel with anything. Now I've got a piece of plastic here, just a plastic tube. You can use a, a ruler for this. I'm going to bring it close, and you'll see that the plastic tube does not have any effect on the matchstick at all. Now I'm going to pull the plastic tube away, and I'm going to charge that with an electrical charge. Now I'm not going to show you in this video how I do that. It's super simple. You're going to be surprised. Hey, look at that. I didn't have to touch the matchstick with the plastic tube, and the plastic tube knocked the, match, the matchstick right off the nickel. Let's try that again. Let's put that matchstick back up there. Get it balanced. I'm going to recharge the plastic tube. This time I'll bring it in from the side. There we go. See me creeping in from the side. Oh, there it goes. Knocks it right off, and it didn't touch that matchstick at all. There was no contact between the two objects. Just in case you think I blew that thing off of there or did something off camera, here's a matchstick tied to a string upside down inside of a glass container. So there's no way that I could blow that matchstick or do anything else to it. And you'll see that when I bring the plastic tube close to the matchstick, I can bounce it back for see that matchstick moving. I'm bouncing the tube back and forth and I can move the matchstick inside the glass container without any contact between those two objects. Let's give that match a second to stop moving again. Let's try that again. Just bounce that tube back and forth and see, even across a couple of inches of distance, with a glass container in between the matchstick and the plastic tube, I'm able to move that matchstick 